Moving on to other stories now, South Korea's acting president Hwang Kyo-won convened an emergency meeting of the National Security Council at the presidential office swiftly following that missile launch. Song Ji-sun shares with us the official government reaction. At the National Security Council meeting, South Korea's Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-won condemned North Korea's missile launches as a direct challenge and great provocation to the international community. The acting president said North Korea's missile provocations are an imminent and existing threat against the security and lives of the South Korean people. The acting president also ordered the maintenance of a robust defense readiness in close alliance with the U.S. and to deter additional provocations through the joint South Korea-U.S. military drills that are currently being held. Huang recently convened a National Security Council meeting after the murder of Kim Jong-nam. But this was the first time the acting president chaired the meeting at the so-called underground bunker of Pongwade since he assumed the duty in place of suspended President Park Geun-hye. Kim Jong-nam 암살 사건에서 보인 북한 정권의 잔악성과 무모함으로 볼때 북한 정권의 손에 핵무기가 쥐어진다면 결과는 상상하기조차 어려울 정도로 끔찍할 것입니다. Hwang pledged to focus Seoul's diplomatic efforts so that the international sanctions are practically and strongly implemented on North Korea. National Security Council Chief Kim Guan Jin also spoke with his U.S. counterpart, H.R. McMaster, on the phone to beef up cooperation in pressuring the North. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.